Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? How you guys doing today? So listen, you guys know my name is Yusuf Scott, also referred to as the Forest Goat. I want to welcome you guys here to the Sudanese Forest Movement. Now listen, as I always tell you guys, very thankful to have you guys here. You guys can be anywhere in this world, but you're watching this video, so I want to thank you. I have to thank you. Alright? Now listen, as I always tell you all, if you're not yet connected with me on social media, of course, that's Facebook, that's Instagram, you guys want to get connected. If you're not yet a part of the 26,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel, you, know, you guys need to get subscribed, all right? And then also, if you're not yet connected with me on Vimeo, get connected with me there so you guys can receive content when I put it out. Now listen, this video today is going to be about um, a response to someone, matter of fact, let me see the, the guy, this guy, um, Brad Culver from Iowa, um, he had messaged me and he asked me about a trade that I put out a year or so back. Matter of fact, this, this was back in 2016. Uh, most of you know by now that I have really come to like the GBP and ZD pair. And um, there, was a, there was a trade that I had put out, a, a trade alert that I put out and if you guys remember, I had profited um, over a hundred grand, and it was like a thirty-day period. All right, and I, I actually created a video on YouTube, whatever. And uh, he wanted he wanted me to break that down. So I thought, you know, that's probably a good idea that I break these things down for you guys, so you guys could see exactly what it is that I was looking at, tap into the mind of you know what it is that I had going on at the moment, what what influenced me to get into this trade, what caused me to look at this being a great opportunity okay so I want you guys to uh, take a look at this all right follow me so if you guys see here of course this is on a live account and uh, trading in GBP and ZD if you notice um, I was running trades I, I was over a hundred and four thousand dollars at the time and uh, I was really crushing this market all right all right, so as you guys see, we're on the GBP and ZD daily, and uh, the video that I posted on YouTube was from October 19th. You guys go check that video out. Video out, you'll see the trades that that we'll be talking about the $100,000 um, trades that I had running on the GBP and ZD. All right, now let me let me explain because those trades were open in this area right here, but let me explain how we got there. All right. Um, whether or not you guys know, I originally started running these trades back here, September of 2015, running this market down. But let me explain to you how we even got there. All right. It was April 2015 when I first saw the market ready to go up. Let me explain to you guys what happened. I recognize this level. OK. And I started running this. I started running these trades up. Um, I didn't run it all the way for obvious reasons, but um, I was running this market up. I even caught this gap right here, a 250 pip gap. And that's not from Friday to Monday or Sunday's open. That was from like Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to Tuesday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That one minute difference or that when the market closed at 5 p.m. and it opened, the market gapped up 250 pips. I caught that. I ran the market up, and as I tell my students, as I've told my students, even after the um, the bailout, you guys may remember that, I got caught up in some trades around here, thought the market was going to go up some more, and uh, the market kept pushing back. So I took a little loss in this area, but then I started to think, like, hold on, this market isn't going up anymore. And once I realized that, it was because of this. Let me just show you guys. Let me make this magenta. Let's make this thick, indicating um, where it wasn't going to go. And let's let's look at the monthly. All right. Remember, this is where the market started to rise, April 2015, and this was the market. Um, a couple months, well, five months later, the market failed to go higher. When I looked at this level, and I said, "Wow, the market has been here before. It kept, you know." Bouncing from the same level, I realized this market is not going higher. This market is ready to drop 
All right? All right? I mean, just that simple. So when we go forward and we look at this, after getting caught up in a couple of trades, whatever, uh, minimum loss, um, I said, you know what? This thing is going down. And I, I ran trades down. The market kept dropping. And just to let you guys know, this is over 8,000 pips from this area all the way down to the, to the low point. Over 8,000 pips. All right? Now, along the way down, going forward, lo along the way down, I caught the Brexit. All right? Now, I rode this all the way down. I mean, from top to bottom. Not like here where I was getting in and out. All right? I rode this all the way down, top to bottom. Okay? Caught the Brexit. Thankfully, thank God the Brexit moved in the direction that I was trading. And I was crushing the market. That was just a fantastic move. Um, I caught the Brexit and I ran it all the way down. But this is the area on October 19th video during that time that I was running. Because what happened was I was running a couple different trade, a couple different accounts on this same pair. What happened was after the Brexit, I started thinking, well, this market is probably going to eventually go up. OK, so I started to start to think it was going to go up. Now, this is what I saw. All right. So after the Brexit, the market dropped to an all time low right here. Let me make this thinner. Actually, let me make this red and I'm going to keep that one like that same thickness this was an all-time low let's look left actually let's do this look on my monthly much faster see that this is an all-time low area this was after the brexit where the market came to this is the all-time low april 2013 all right let's look at the daily and look at that same level Going back way too far. That's what you have to do when you're an analyst. You look at the market. See, this is that area. All time low. Okay. And this is about a year later, a couple years later, this is where the market rent went to. It jumped up from. But the market came back to the same level less than a year later. Okay. Now. Um, or a little more than a year later, came back to the same level, well, the, the low, I'll say. When that market came there, actually, I'm going too fast. After the Brexit, and you guys know this, you guys seen videos of me explaining this, but just in case you don't know, after the Brexit, the market gapped down. OK. And. This right here had become an important area. So after the Brexit, the market dropped down to the all time low, the market went back to that level. Matter of fact, when the market hit this level, the all time low, you guys know what I did. Come on now. I rolled the market up. I already knew what it was going to do. Matter of fact, I put out a trade alert back then. And I had a lot of people who joined because of that trade alert. It's like, man, this guy, he knows something. The market went up. I had a couple people who told me, listen, man, like I didn't even know anything about this pair. When you put out that video and I watched it go up, I was just like, like, wow. Anyway, the market went up to the same area, went back down to the same area, the all time low. Now, at that point, when it hit back at that same low, I said to myself, well, I know it's going to go back up. All right. And guess what? Oh, let me let me tell you guys this. I was still running my trades down. I caught that one going up, but I was still running trades down. 
This market bounced off of this red level again, the all-time low at the time. But it failed to go back up to that same area. So guess what? Logically, that told me it isn't going up. It's going down some more. So guess what? I got in on another account, resituated some things, got in some more. All right? Now, where I got in at, I believe it was definitely in this area that I got in. Definitely in this area that I got in because the market failed to go up any, any higher. It probably went to like the 40, 50 percent mark, you know, area or range. And it failed to go down, maybe even 35 percent. It failed to go up any higher. I got in. I got in and then I got in again. I got in, let's say, around here. Make this green. So I should lime a little better personality. And then um, I know I got in. I don't always do this, but then I got in again, I think somewhere around this area. Because I, I know I have my trades staggered. You guys know what that is. Basically, I was running them. Normally, I run, it, I run my trades pop, 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 pop. And I'll just let it run. But this time, I got in and I said, you know what? Okay. I'm going to show you. And I got in again. Number of trades again. And uh, let the market run down. And the market came down to here. You guys notice this became the all-time low. This was broken. That became the all-time low. And then, um, so that was my way of realizing where the market was going to go. It was going to go up. All right? It, it created, it established a new low. Just to let you guys know. And this is this is roundabout. You're talking like 1300 Let's let's call it twelve five to that one, and then another like fourteen, um, depending on where I got in, like you know fourteen fifteen hundred. So I had multiple trades running down, and just this area alone, the trades that I had running was one hundred thousand. Now, if I knew this was the all time low, and I knew this established an all time low. And the profit was 100000 off that. And after this run, for those of you who are my students, you know I, I was telling you guys, this market will not go down anymore for you know, some time. I can't say it won't ever go back down because you know all-time low levels will be broken. All-time high levels will be broken. It's just I knew the market was not going to go down any farther than that level anytime soon. And guess what? Going forward, this is where the market is at now. Okay? So, something that I, I'm going to make this magenta. We're going to make another one, put another one on. This is just capturing this, this gap area, you know, just how important it was to me. Um, matter of fact, we're going to get rid of this, this level here. We, won't, we can get rid of this one now. Let's just look at this, look at the gap area going forward. Look how that same area was respected. Look, look at that. All right. Amazing. Right. So how is it that I can do this just by looking at and analyzing the market? You know, this is what I teach my students to do. You have to be able to look at the market and read the market to get a better idea as to what's going on. Although a lot of people, they live by certain indicators, you don't need them. You don't. Um, I like to make sense out of what's going on for myself. And that's what I teach. That's what I charge my students with. 
Look at it and believe what's going on for yourself. All right. If you don't see it yourself, you're not going to be able to convince anyone else what it is that you're seeing. Unless they're green, they don't know. They believe anything you tell them. And that's unfortunate. That's how so many people are losing out here because a lot of people don't know what they're doing. And they're trying to they're, they're trying to, you know, make a way. And there is no way because they don't know. And this is not to knock anyone for their efforts. But this is just to tell you guys the reality. You know, this is why so many people, they they're they, they come into trading Forex with great, great ideas and, and great um, aspirations. They want to make a lot of money, but they're being misguided and misinformed. So um, I'm just I want to break you guys. I want to break this thing down to you guys so that it can be easily comprehended. And um, and that, you know, that way you don't have to wrestle with things. You know, this is what I do. I mean, whether whether you guys know, this is my passion. This is what I love to do. And um, so if you guys are interested in trading the GBP and ZD, let me tell you, very volatile. You just have to know what it is that you're looking at as any pair across the market. All right. So um, hopefully this video made a lot of sense to you guys. Hopefully you all can, um, hopefully you guys can, can, you know, make sense out of what it is that I, what I showed you. Um, hopefully it was something that you can take away from this and apply it to another market. Um, um, so, you know, as always, you guys, you guys know, my name is Yusuf Scott. They refer to me as the Forest Goat for obvious reasons, I suppose. Um, if you're not yet connected on social media, you guys know Facebook, Instagram, get connected. Uh, if you're not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, get subscribed. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed or connected with me on Vimeo, get there, get connected, get subscribed. Um, look forward to imparting even more wisdom on you guys. Um, I guess in my, my next video, I'm going to make. I'm going to explain to you guys. I know a lot of you are new. You're just trying to figure out Forex. But I'm going to explain to you guys, like, for instance, when this market came down to here, the market started to range. And I'm going to explain to you guys um, a couple different types of um, markets that that you should be looking for that could really help you. All right. I'm going to explain these things to you guys. It's it's a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Um, a lot of insight that I have. I just want to help you guys out. All right. You guys have a fantastic one. Once again, Yusuf Scott. Peace.